Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you um, a certain problem that I faced recently and how I approached that problem. Maybe that could be helpful for you or maybe you're facing similar issues. And uh, I'm starting off here with a list of dictionaries and each of these dictionaries contain some sort of name or username, some sort of password and some sort of email. And my job was to see that each of these dictionaries contains the, a mandatory list of items set by the program. So, what, what's, so for instance, the, the application needed or had three minimum requirements. First of all, you have to have a username. Second of all, you have to have some sort of password. And third of all, you have to have some sort of email. And there were multiple, um, let's say, programs communicating with that central program. And each of these programs would call, for instance, username differently. So, for instance, one program would call username as one word. Another program would call username as user underscore name. And a third one would call a username as user, simply as user. So my job was to see how can I ensure that those dictionaries here fulfill those minimum requirements. So my first step is, my first step of thinking was, how do I put those mandatory parameters or how do I compile those mandatory parameters together? And what I came up with is basically a tuple of tuples. So we've got a tuple that tuple contains all the mandatory terms and each inner tuple is basically a term or the variance of a certain term so all of those highlighted are basically some sort of username and those are the ways the various applications streaming into that central application call their users one of them calls them username one of them calls them user underscore name and the other one just calls them user same thing with password, same thing with email. So what I did here is basically these are the mandatory parameters. Obviously, the application I was working on had many more parameters, but basically that's in a nutshell the way it was the way I put it, I, let, I, I set it up. So and the next step was I created a function. I created a function which uh, worked like this. Let me just put it out here. So I go diff and then validate. Uh, dictionary and what I did I it took two parameters obviously the dictionary that had to be checked and the list of mandatory items right now I'm going to initialize two variables and first of all is Let's, I'm going to explain what they do. And we've got the dictionary status. And that's basically telling us it's initially at zero, means that dictionary is not accepted. It does not fulfill the minimum, minimum requirements. So now what I'm doing is I'm going to loop through uh, my mandatory list. And that is basically mandatory list. And so I'm go going to be looping through that, and then I am going to be looping through each element because each that tuple is not. Uh, first of all, I'm, I'm iterating through the outer tuple, and now I'm going to be iterating through the inner tuple. And so basically it is mandatory list and then index i. And now here I'm setting a condition if mandatory list i j. So basically if we're iterating through the, um, through the tuple, so first element is that. And the first element of that ij, let's say 00, zero would be username. So is username in, in the dictionary to be checked? Is it in it? Oops. If yes, 
And remember, uh, here, the elements, let's call it, let's give it a better name, element status. So the element status is an empty list. So if that term, if that term in the, if one of those terms in the mandatory list is in that dictionary, then append uh, to element status. Just append the one. You can append anything, it doesn't matter. I just appended the one, you know, the number one. And that's now important, just break out of the inner loop. Because if username is in there, if username is in here, that's it. That, that is fulfilled. That applies to the whole inner tuple. That's why I'm breaking out of that inner tuple. Because now we go, we break out of the inner tuple and we go back to the outer one. And then we start going through this one and see if one of the passwords variants is in there. And so and that's it. So now what we do, now comes the check. And now once we've done all the looping, now what we do is we have to check. So I'm done the looping. Now I'm going to be che uh, checking here. And what I'm doing is check if. So now, basically, if my dictionary has all three, then the length of element status should be identical to the outer tuple. And that's what I'm checking right now. So I'm going to elements. Uh, element status is equal to length of uh, mandatory list then dictionary status is equal to 1 otherwise it's going to be 0 ok and now let's do some returns and let me do it let me do it quickly let me do a return let me do a, a dictionary function uh, outputs is a dictionary and and just create these two outputs so basically my function is my functions uh, and then return return uh, function output so basically that function is returning a dictionary. Let me just maybe zoom it out a bit. Uh, so my, my, my function is returning a dictionary and that dictionary has two elements. One is the dictionary status, either one or zero, and, and second of all, the element status, which is basically a list of elements that are okay. So if, if everything is okay, if all three are okay, I should have an element of uh, a list of three elements, each with one. Right. So that's the function. Let me just zoom it up again. And now, uh, let's get it up here. So that's my mandatory. These are my list of dictionaries. So now what I gotta do is first uh, just uh, create a loop, which tells me whether each of these are uh, each of these dictionaries fulfill those minimum requirements or those mandatory parameters. So and there's basically my loop. I'm just looping through the list of dictionaries. And dictionary status is a placeholder and placeholder. And what I did, I just called, I just called my a function uh, twice. Once to get the status of the dictionary, and once is to get the element status. So I think that's we're ready. And now we can basically save the file and then let's run it. And now we have the results here. Let me just expand that a bit. And here you can see now the first one, the first one does not fulfill the mandatories because my name is not in it. The second one fulfills it all. The third one, again, zero because it just fulfills one thing, which is basically the password. Uh, the fourth one, again, fulfills everything. It's got user, it's got password, it's got email. So it's got all three, all three elements are one and he's got a one here. Uh, the other ones, the other two are don't fulfill it at all because they've got missing parts. So, and that's how you can solve such a problem where you have um, 
certain inputs and you wish to check. Now, it doesn't matter if these inputs are JSON or they're dicts or something. I mean, it doesn't matter. I mean, I have here used dictionaries, but obviously if you've got JSON strings, you can just convert them to dictionaries and then, you know, do these procedures. And basically I checked all, this is how I checked that all my inputs fulfill a mandatory list and a, a not a so simple mandatory list, but rather a list which has for each term has multiple variants for each term. And that's the way I, I went about it.